New at four, we are also learning more about the four people inside a car at the center of a deadly crash in Orlando. Police told us two women died and two other women were hurt. The crash happened this morning on Colonial Drive east of I-4 in downtown Orlando. And that is where News 6's Lauren Cervantes joins us live. And Lauren, you can still see the marks of where that crash happened. That's right, I'm going to show you right now. Take a look. Tire marks in quite a bit of a mess where neighbors tell me a Ford F-150 stopped off of the road right here in front of these trees. Now, I also spoke with a woman who actually works at a business right across the street and tells me five hours after the crash, investigators were still out here. I can't imagine anybody survived, at least in the one vehicle I saw. Video from early Thursday morning shows a total Jetta and a Ford F-150 with the front end smashed. Officers say four women were in the car, a 19-year-old and 20-year-old were killed. Two others were taken to the hospital. Information we have at this point is that both vehicles were westbound on East Colonial Drive. One of the vehicles, which turned out to be a Ford F-150, was reported to be driving erratically and struck a Volkswagen Jetta that was also driving westbound on East Colonial. Police say when they got to the pickup truck, no one was inside. They used a helicopter and a police dog to find a man found hiding near the north side of Park Lake. One subject was found hiding near the area of the crash. That person is currently under investigation and their involvement in the crash uh, will be determined by our traffic homicide investigators who were actively investigating this case. Police say the man was taken to the hospital and is in stable condition. Those working at businesses in the area say the roads were closed for hours this morning while investigators gathered evidence and cleared the area of debris. I could see several gentlemen down here with their yellow vests on and they were sweeping off, off the debris. Big chunks. One looked like a possibly a fender. Police tell me the man is not under arrest at this time, but police say they are investigating his involvement in the crash. In Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.